<clears throat> What's up, people of the world? It's me again, Alex Swimmer, aka AP Through Jump, and today I'm reviewing this, uh, some Casa Grande's episodes, actually. Um, I'm sorry that these videos are late, like, uh, I didn't decide to record these videos until, uh, later in the week, because, um, all of last week's episodes I, t I intended to start reviewing on Monday and ha and have those reviews end until Thursday, but my reaction video for Terry Bogard's presentation on for Smash Ultimate on Wednesday sort of uh, got in the way of me up doing episode reviews that sort of uh, conflicted with my uh, uploading schedule. So, um, like almost a week later, I'm finally reviewing these episodes from. Uh, last Saturday on the 2nd, <laughs> but um, I'm, also, I'm also sorry that this video is so late in the day, late in the night rather, because well I've had a very busy day and uh, yeah, I work a lot, so. Um, well, I mean, I'm gonna try to do better with that next time, like uh, I'm gonna try to do episode reviews like as soon as an episode comes out, like no later than 48 hours is going to be my goal from now on. <laughs> or if there's a bunch of episodes in the week, I'm going to start doing like like all four segments of episodes on, start from Monday through Friday. So that's two of the Loud House segments on Monday and Tuesday, and then the the two Casa Grande segments on Wednesday and Thursday. So uh, I'm going to try to do that from now on for when new episodes come out, because even more new episodes coming out tomorrow. So anyways, um, Tonight I'm reviewing the episode the uh, the two of clubs. Now this one this episode is interesting. It's it's very fun. Well, let's uh, start from the from the from the yeah from the the beginning. You drink something. This vanilla Nesquik is the bomb. I love it. It's like it tastes like white chocolate. It's great. Seriously, you should try this. Anyway. So the plot goes a little something like this. Ron Yan and Sid are, uh, they're trying out for clubs. It's about that time of year where, uh, where, uh, I, I don't want to call them club tryouts, but, uh, they're, everyone's trying to find a club, and, uh, there are lots of clubs to choose from, but they need to hurry up and choose a club. Oh, shit, the con my console battery is low on my Switch. Hold on. Uh, let me charge this. <laughs> Didn't expect that to happen. Anyway. So what was I? So there's only a certain amount of time that they have to try for a club. I think like what a week or two. That's all they have to decide what club they want. So Ryan and Sid are on the train. They're trying to to um, figure out what club to uh, do together so they don't, don't have to sacrifice hang time. Because according to Sid, she did all these calculations. She's um so clubs are like two hours a day, right? So she says, well we'll miss two hours a day. So that's uh. 10 hours a week, and uh, across four weeks in a month, that's 40 hours a week of not hanging out. <laughs> and uh, poor Sid, she was, uh, she like shoves the calendar in Runyon's face <laughs> to emphasize, and uh, yeah, Runyon's like, don't worry, we'll be able to find a club together. And uh, it's not as easy as, as they think, because they try a bunch of these different clubs. So there's like four different clubs that they try. Actually, there's a lot more. There are some clubs that only Ron Yen likes, but Sid doesn't, and then there are some clubs that only Sid likes and Ron Yen doesn't. So, um, that happens a bunch of times. They try at, at, later on in the episode, they've tried out every single club. So, um, they don't really know what to do. And, uh, so, they're at home, and uh, I'm, fi I'm fast forwarding a lot. But they're at home in their beds, um, looking at pictures that they've taken of the, uh, the pictures they've taken of themselves in the clubs, and then they're just uh, they're just uh, enjoying looking at the pictures. And uh, yeah, that's a really adorable scene, I gotta say. And it real, it's a really wholesome scene too. Them just like uh, you know reminiscing on their like their very recent memories of. Uh, spending time in a club, and uh, yeah, that's really sweet. That just goes to show you how much Ron Yan and Sid cherish each other. They're pretty much inseparable. 
So uh, that's why I love these two, and I, that's why I love their dynamic very much. So, um, at the next day they decide, well, um, they're just going to try whatever club, like, doesn't matter what club they do. <clears throat> so, it, they decide that if both of them don't like, aren't, don't like the club, or if they're not good, like, at the club, or what have you, they decide... That that no that no that matters because all that matters is that they spend time with each other no matter how no matter how much they like or dislike a club so long as they're so long as they're together spending time with each other then that's really all that matters <clears throat> so um <clears throat> I sh I should mention some uh, some of the first clubs that they tried out. They tried out um, Lucha Libre, which Ronnie M likes, and uh, Sid is having a hard time trying to um, learn how to do Lucha Libre, and um, the the inverse happens in Robotics Club, where Sid loves Robotics, and Ronnie M just is very much out of her comfort zone. She has no idea what she's doing in Robotics, and so much so that she uh, made a breakfast bot that uh, Sid that that Sid made. She made that malfunction. And, um, so, Robot comes out, and, uh, I forget how the setup exactly happens, but Robot comes out, and they put, Ronnie, Ronnie, I think Ronnie and Sid put, like, the Lucha Libre mask on the robot, and then this one kid, I, it, there's, just, there's this one kid who's, like, this accident-prone kid, I don't remember his name, but I think he had, like, really curly hair and glasses. <coughs> um... So the kid's like, oh, hey, are you guys starting a uh, Lucha Libre Robotics Club? And uh, Ronnie and Sid are like, um, well, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> and so they do precisely that. They create a brand new club that uh, both Sid and Ronnie and are, um, that they're accustomed to. They, uh, so they managed to like combine their interests together in one club, which I thought was really cool. So, um, yeah, and then, and then that's pretty much where the episode ends. So, that, that, that whole club kind of reminds me of, like, battle bots in a way, where you have robots fighting each other, but, in a, but this time it's in a Lucha Libre style. So, uh, I would love to see a club like that in real life, to be honest with you. <laughs> now, um, that's pretty much the episode. What did I think of it? Pretty damn good. I love it. Um, any episode where Sid and Ronnie, Sid and Ronnie Ann are, um, uh, <clears throat> Are the focus? I really, I really like that. I like the Ronnie Ann and Sid episodes like much more than the Clink and McLeod episodes. I don't hate the Clink and McLeod episodes at all. I've already talked about that in my previous review. I don't care if there's too many of those, so long as they're good. Um, people complain about the massive in, about the massive influx of Clink and McLeod episodes, whereas um, when it comes to uh, Ronnie Ann and Sid episodes, people are. Um, People don't mind at all, even if there are a lot. And uh, I'm in the same boat. I love Ronnie and Sid episodes. I love I, I I like that I like their dynamic even more than um actually a lot more than um Lincoln and Clyde. Again, not that I hate Lincoln and Clyde's dynamic, it's just Ronnie Ann and Sid's um dynamic is more enjoyable for me to watch. And uh, I'm not the only one who thinks that. <laughs> so for better or for worse. But, um, yeah, this episode was just great. Um, it showed, um, a great aspect of their, great aspect of, uh, their, uh, friendship. And, yeah, it shows how inseparable they are and how much they cherish each other as friends. And, yeah, they, they want to, they, uh, they, they want to be inseparable for a reason. They don't want to sacrifice any time any time together at all, which I really, I appreciate that a lot. Uh, yeah, very much so. And so, overall, this episode was pretty, pretty damn good. I give it like a 9.5 out of 10. I, pretty damn good. I, uh, I love watching it. And, uh, Ronnie and Sid's dynamic is great. Sid, her Sid all by herself is great. <laughs> she, like I said, was uh, my new favorite character in season four of The Loud House, and because um, she actually premiered in this in the season 
she debuted in the season four premiere. So I don't know what else to say uh, before I get to the, to my next point. Um, I have a really uh, awesome random fun fact for this episode, and this is why I go on the wiki because uh, uh, y'all ain't gonna believe this. <clears throat> One of the kids in the, who uh, was seen in the Lucha Libre Club club was named uh, Becky, and uh, she is actually portrayed by uh, none other than Abby Trot, the freaking singer for the English theme song for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Yeah, once I found that out, I'm like, wait, really? Holy shit, <laughs> that, that's, that's really awesome. Um, I didn't recognize her during the episode. I have to watch the episode again and uh, uh, see if I pick up her voice. Cause, but yeah, that's really freaking awesome to have to have uh, the singer of the English to have the Eng the singer of the English theme song for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, a game as gargantuan as this in both in both content and um, just uh, for to have someone come from such a to have a guest star from someone who's been a part of a landmark game. That's that's just amazing. Next, I want to see Charles Martinet get star in the Laugh House or the Casa Grandes. Just saying, that would be awesome. The voice of Mario being on one of those shows. I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, you may you may or may not agree with me on that, but I personally would find that to be great. Um, so yeah, that's my review. Um, <clears throat> if you like it, then don't forget to subscribe and uh, ring the bell to be notified of future videos I make. And uh, like the video if you liked it. It helps a lot more than you think. And um, <clears throat> if you like the uh, episode, then let me know what you thought of the episode in the comment section below. What do you guys like about it? What do you guys hate about it? If there's anything I forgot to point out, then let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm interested uh, to hear your guys' thoughts. So um, my very next review will be, uh, uh, what's, the, what's the name of the episode? <clears throat> Stay tuned for, for my very next uh, <clears throat> episode review. That, that will come like, like 30 minutes after this video is uploaded. Um, vacation days. Or if this video is already, if that video is already out, then uh, go ahead and watch it right now. Um, it's a, it'll be in my uh, Casa Grande's reviews playlist. And yeah, check out uh, my Live House reviews playlist as well to check out, um, to be able to see all my reviews for, ep for current episodes and make, so you guys don't miss any reviews that I've done. And, uh, so, once again, <clears throat> I'm Alex Wimmer, a.k.a. 833 Jumps. Thank you so much for watching until the end. That is it for me, and I will see you soon. Goodbye. And it's fucking cold outside.